Hi, girls and boys, and welcome to Good Children Reads, where good children read. My name is Julie, and I'm so excited to be reading this story for you today. It's an inspiring true story of an adorable little French bulldog who overcame all of the odds to become a champion agility dog. And so it's just a reminder to you that if you hold on to your dreams and work hard, then you can achieve anything. All right. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the story. Soaring Sorin When French Bulldogs Fly by Deborah Stevenson, illustrated by Morgan Spicer. Soaring Sorin When French Bulldogs Fly. This is the preface or kind of the introduction before the story begins. Sometimes people say a thing will happen when pigs fly. Since pigs almost never fly, they say this to mean that something is unlikely to ever happen, like Teddy will eat broccoli when pigs fly. But sometimes, when you truly believe and try as hard as you can, pigs, or in this case, a French bulldog, really can fly and anything is possible. Such is the unlikely story of how Soren became an agility dog. Soaring Soren, when French Bulldogs fly. Hi, I'm Soren the French Bulldog. I was born in a country called Denmark. When I was a puppy, people said I was quite handsome and that I was going to fly to the United States to become a show dog. The long, noisy plane ride was a little scary. When I arrived at the airport, I was relieved to hear a kind voice. I've been waiting for you, Soren, said a woman with wild, curly hair. My name is Deb. Deb hugged me and said, You must be hungry. I brought you some French fries. I knew right then I was going to like my new home. Once I settled into my new house, we went to work on my show training on the big patio next to the lake. To be a show dog, you have to look and act like a dog of your breed should, Deb told me. You need to trot on a leash, stand tall, and let a judge look at your teeth. I tried hard to be the perfect French bulldog, but something happened. I grew and grew some more. One day, Deb said, I'm afraid you will not be a show dog after all, Soren. You are growing bigger than a show French bulldog is allowed to be. I was sad. I did not want to disappoint Deb. I wished and wished to stop growing, but I could do nothing to stop it. One morning, Deb was sitting on the grass, watching as I ran around the yard, jumping over bushes and logs. She said, Soren, you can run fast and jump high. I bet you would make a great agility dog. I tipped my head. I wasn't sure what that meant. The word agility means being quick and graceful, Deb explained. Agility is also a sport. You run through an obstacle course as fast as you can. French bulldogs aren't built for speed and grace. So many people think they can't do agility. Agility? If I couldn't be a show dog, maybe I could be an agility dog. I wanted to show Deb I could be a great agility dog, so I jumped on and off a big rock. When Deb threw my favorite tennis ball, I ran as fast as I could, grabbed it, and brought it back. As I dropped the ball in her lap, I started to feel funny. My tummy began to flip flop. Deb's eyes got wide. She blurted out, Uh oh, Soren, no! But before I could stop it, blarg! I threw up right on Deb. I thought surely that would be the end of agility. But when I looked up, Deb was laughing. It's okay, buddy, she said. If any French bulldog can do agility, I think it might be you, Soren. Deb took me to a place called an agility field. She explained the obstacles to me and I got to try them. I ran up and over the A-frame. Deb said my feet had to touch the yellow part. 
Jumps seemed pretty simple. I soared over the plastic jump bars without knocking them down. The dog walk was long. I ran up one ramp, across the top, and down the other ramp. My feet had to touch the yellow on this one, too. Weave poles were weird. Twelve poles sticking out of the ground. I had to go in the first opening and weave between each pole to the very end. The teeter was just like the one at the playground. I ran up one side, made it tip, and ran down the other side, making sure to touch the yellow. Whee! The tunnel was my favorite. I ran in one end, disappeared, and ran out the other end. Agility was so much fun. When I got tired, I stopped and looked up at Deb. Okay, Soren, Deb said. I guess you will be an agility dog. We practiced and practiced agility and learned to work as a team. Deb's job was to learn the course and show me where to go. My job was to go where she sent me and do the obstacles correctly. Weave poles were the most difficult for me. When I got them right, I got cheese as a treat. Cheese was my favorite. Once we are good enough at agility, Deb told me, we'll go to a sporting competition called an agility trial. After months of training, it was time for our first trial. Deb brought me to an indoor soccer field where a course was set up. There were other agility teams everywhere and the dogs were all so different from me. They looked faster and more athletic. You can do this, Soren, Deb reassured. This is just like we practiced. When it was our turn, we walked out to the first obstacle. Sit, Deb said. I waited until she said, go, and we took off running. Oops, I was so excited that I jumped off the A-frame from way up high and did not touch the yellow part. People in the crowd gasped then cheered when they saw I did not get hurt. I did the rest perfectly, and pretty fast, too. Afterward, a friend told Deb, Zorn did a great job. Maybe someday he'll get an agility championship, Deb replied. They laughed at that idea because no French bulldog had come close to being an agility champion, ever. But as I got better at agility, we started thinking, Maybe I really could be a champion. To become a champion, you have to run lots of different courses, Deb explained. You need to be fast and you can't make any mistakes. Fast and no mistakes? That would be tricky, but I was sure I could do it. Most people we met at trials were nice. They smiled and said hello to me when I walked by and cheered me on when I ran the course but some thought French Bulldogs couldn't do agility. Soren's not fast enough to get a championship, one woman said and rolled her eyes. They're just not built for agility, I overheard another woman say. Their heads are too big, their legs are too short, and their bodies are too heavy. It was true my head was big, and my legs weren't the longest and I was heavier than other dogs my size, but I could and I would do agility. Deb hugged me close and said, don't worry, Soren, we'll show them you can do agility. The more we ran agility, the better and faster I got. On Deb's birthday, we were getting into the car to go to our agility trial. Deb said, you know, Soren, if you run fast enough today, you could get your championship. More than anything, I wanted to give Deb that championship as her birthday gift. When it was our turn, Deb told me to sit in front of the first obstacle, but I was too excited. She understood. She smiled at me and said, go. The rest was magical. Deb said I needed to be fast to earn my championship. So I ran as fast as my short legs would carry me. I was extra careful to touch the yellow on the A-frame. 
those tricky weave pulls were next and they always worried me. I pictured myself getting in at just the right spot, and I did! I pushed through them as fast as I could, weaving between every pull all the way to the end. Just two more jumps to go. I soared over the last jump bar, just in the nick of time. We did it! People started to cheer. Deb kissed my cheek. I knew you could do it, buddy, she said. The agility judge patted my head. Someone handed Deb a huge ribbon as a prize. Someone else gave her the bar from my final jump. They let us keep the bar as a memento. While everyone clapped, we got to run around the course and do the obstacles again. Deb gave me a gift, a pretty new collar with flying pigs on it. They looked a little like me. Our friends had a big party for us and tied colorful balloons onto my new collar. We all wore party hats shaped like cheese, my favorite treat. Everyone signed our jump bar and wrote notes on it, telling us what a great team we were. There was a cake too. I love cake even more than cheese. Deb said, this is the best birthday ever, Soren. Now and forever, you will be the first French Bulldog to earn an agility championship. I could tell Deb was proud of me and I was so happy. I loved agility, but I loved Deb even more. Sometimes I wonder what life would have been like if I had been a show dog, but then I never would have been an agility dog. I would not trade my amazing agility adventure with Deb for the world. If you work hard and believe in yourself and your dreams, you can do just about anything. And if you have someone you love who believes in you too, that's better still. The end. So like I said before, this story is based on a true story. And this is the real Soren, the real French Bulldog. So let's meet the real Soren. This book is based on the true story of Soren. He overcame the challenges of his breed to become the first French Bulldog ever to earn a Master Agility Championship, otherwise known as a mock. Soren actually earned more than 100 performance titles. Despite being a little Bulldog, he was quite an athlete. He was ranked among the top agility dogs in the country. Soren was a loving, devoted, comical character with a joy for life. He won friends everywhere he went with his easy smile, his kind, gentle nature, and most of all, his can-do attitude. Soren's story reminds us that we don't have to be limited by stereotypes, the ideas other people might have about what we can and cannot do. He proved that when we work hard and try with all our hearts, we can accomplish things we never dreamed possible. You can honor Soren by never giving up on your own dreams and by supporting the goals of others. We'll honor him too by donating a portion of the pro proceeds from this book to French Bulldog Rescue. For more information on this or to see more of the real Soren in action, please visit www.frogprincebooks.net. I hope you enjoyed the story. I was really motivated by Soren. And I don't know if you realized this, but the name Soren is kind of like a play on words for the word soaring or flying, which is very, very um, fitting because Soren would soar over all of the jumps and through the agility obstacle courses. So he was really the French bulldog who could fly. I hope that you remember the story of Soren the next time that you are struggling to achieve a goal or the next time you're worried that you're not going to be able to achieve your dreams. Just like Soren, if you put enough hard work and effort and time into it and you believe in yourself, then you can achieve anything. Thank you for joining me on Good Children Reads, and I hope that I'll see you next time for our next story. Until then, have a great day, and I will see you later. Bye!